hello viewers here we have two electrical motors one of them is bad and the other one is good we are going to test both of them to see the difference between a good electrical motor and a bad electrical motor we are going to perform two different type of tests today we are going to perform the continuity test and we are going to con uh, conduct a insulation resistance test and we are going to record our readings here we are going to record the data for continuity test and uh, and below we're going to record the data for insulation resistance test at 500 volt days u1 and u2 are like here that it is as it is drawn here this is this each of these coil represents a group of coils so here is U1, which is linked to U2. So when we do continuity tests, we want to know that there's no breakage, that it continues all the... And then we're going to read to see if the, what the resistance is. If it's very, very high resistance, then that means that uh, there's a problem. But if it's low resistance, around uh, 2, 3 ohms it's gonna be like it's good at least low resistance but if it is very high resistance then it is bad then for for insulation resistance test at 500 volts we're going to be injecting 500 volt dc and then we're going to check to see uh what the reading would what is going to be reading so uh let's start We are going to use the clamp for the resistance test. For that, we are going to set it in ohmmeter and we are going to start testing. We are going to start our test with this motor, in this electrical motor. So watch our readings here and put it here to watch our readings on the ohmmeter. So we set it at ohmmeter. So it's in ohms now. So we put it between U1 and U2. We have uh, 3.8, 3.7. Let's record it. 3.7. Okay, V1 and V2, V1 and V2 are 4.1 ohm, 4.1 ohm, W1 and W2, we have 3.7 ohms. So we have 3.7 ohms here. So for this motor we have, for the continuity test for this electrical motor, we have 3.7, 4.1, and 3.7. So let's test it on this motor. On this other motor here, we'll do the uh, continuity test on this other motor. So this other motor has suffered damage due to water. Water has gone into it while it was in the factory and it stopped running so now we do um this is u2 and this is u1 here we have 1.4 1.4 ohms a 1.4 ohms for uh, v2 and uh, V1, V2 and V1. Set with a 1.2.1 ohm. 
2.1 ohm. So let's try W. The W1 and W2. W1 and W2. It's open loop. It's broken. It's broken. It's not contacting with anyone. It's broken. So the coil on W1 is open loop. It's open loop. Oh, oh that's open loop. So this one already failed. This one has failed the uh, continuity test. Okay, we're going to do um, the insulation resistance test at 400, at 400 volts. 400 volt DC. So we're going to be injecting 400 volt DC to see uh, what it is, uh, what the insulation is. So we're going to test, first of all, according to our record here, we're going to test um, V1, uh, U1 and V1 first. And when we'll keep recording them, they are that as well. So we have U1 and V1. No, it's not right. Okay. We have ejected 500, uh, 502 volts and it's reading, reading 1 mega ohm. So I have 1 mega ohm. Okay, the next one U1 and W1. Check the 502 volt, we have one mega ohm. Okay, U1 and chassis. U1 and chassis. We have one mega ohm. Now we go to uh, V1 and W1. V1 and W1. We inject 500 volt DC. And we have one mega ohm. V1 and chassis. One mega ohm. One mega ohm is one thousand ohm. One thousand ohms. Okay, V one and chassis. Now we do W one and chassis. Okay, we just can position this one on chassis. Position it on chassis. We'll put this one on W1. And we inject. So it's, it's within one mega ohm. One mega ohm. One mega ohm. One thousand ohm. No, this is one million ohm, not one thousand. One mega is a, a million. Kilo ohm is a thousand. Mega is a million. So it's a million ohms. So let's do the same here. We're going to, uh, this bad motor, we're going to test it. Bad due to water damage. Water went into it while the motor was running and it got damaged. If you look at it, you see that it's a bit rusted. 
So we do we start with uh U U1 U1 uh this is U1 and uh V1 we inject it's not letting us inject the voltage you know it's not it's not letting us inject the voltage which means something is wrong it's not letting us inject 500 volts we try um, U1 and W1 it's not letting us inject 500 volts we try U1 and chassis it's not letting us inject straight off you know that the insulation is bad you know you know that the insulation, the insulation of this motor is bad so that's how you test your electrical motor this is the difference between a good motor and a, a good electrical motor and a bad electrical motor well you you can also see other tests that i've done if you watch other videos that i have done about how to test your electrical motor so there are three major tests that you can do on your electrical motor first of all is to do um do a visual test if you look at this one closely if you if the motor was not working and you opened it and looked at it closely you will see that it's rusted due to water damage on the inside and then remember that before you do the, all this uh, test you have to remove the the configuration plate you know because it might be in star or in delta we have to remove the configuration plate before you start performing the test and uh, this one you can see is still neat so um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be getting good content so see you on the next one